074 to see if we enlighten you and remove your veil. It says, my brethren, you also have become dead to the law through the body of Christ. What did Jesus of Christ, Jesus of Nazareth come for? What was the body of Christ delivered for? To place you dead to the law. So if you're dead to the law, what gave life to the law was the law itself. What gave life was the law to sin. But I receive, you understand this, but let's continue. It says that you may be married to Jesus of Nazareth. No, that you be ma- that you be married to another. He that was risen from the dead. Bless, place yourself after the cross. Come out of the shadow of the cross. Get in front of the cross where the light shines. Get into the teachings of Paul. Get into the light in front of the cross. After the cross is when Christianity began. And look at the purpose to him who was risen from the dead that you should bear fruit to God, bear fruit to the evangelicals, to that sick system. No, that has produced nothing. No, to bear fruit to God. If you belong to the other, you renounce Jesus of Nazareth and you place yourself in the risen one. Oh, it's a It's different? Yes, because the body was delivered and that body died. He's no longer a Jew. He's no longer a servant of the law. Now that body has risen. He abides in inaccessible light for 2,000 years. And in 1973, he traveled to the earth and reached me and gave me his mind. And with that mind, I'm speaking to you now. That risen one is the one that lives in me now that ministers this word of grace so that you can bear fruit for God. And I receive that. Bless you delivered yourself to a form of doctrine. There are two and you have lived with the other for many years. That's why you don't understand when someone comes to congregate with us, you say, how can you let that man wash your conscience? Well, you had it dirty. How am I not going to wash it? Full of mud. What, what do you do with something that's full of mud? You put it in the bathtub, you wash it. With that vocabulary that you have of the other form of teaching, of the, of, uh, the Old Testament, that doesn't please God. Bless, I receive that you run here, that you begin to say, I can't continue in this other form of doctrine that doesn't form Christ in me. What it, what it has form is the religion. You have no peace. And it seems that if Christ comes, you'll stay. That's what they've told you. And that the devil is like a roaring lion seeking to devour. Run, because things are hard. Things are bad. Things are better than they've ever been. These are the best days. You walk in a different spirit. You walk in a different Jesus. You walk in a different gospel. Deliver yourself to it today. Write to our TV channel. Write to our address. I understood. I've been enlightened. And you understand. This ain't here. There's no membership to, to grab you. Once you are delivered to this form of doctrine, you've delivered yourself forever. So bless. I declare you reigning in life. I declare you with your eyes enlightened. I receive, I remove the veil of religion and I receive you in the best form of teaching. There is a form of teaching and that is the teaching of growing in grace ministry. All of the bishops, all of its competitive ministers and all that have been enlightened by Jesus Christ man.